news and reviews, man. We back and y'all know how we do. It's your boy Rob and Ja. Yeah, man. It's the home of hip hop news and cultural commentary. And today we have to talk about the one and only Ugly God, also known as Royce Cornell Davison Rodriguez. We're going to have to call him by the government this time because he done got himself caught up in a murder investigation. Now, I brought this story to your attention, and your first th thought was, what the hell is an ugly guy? <laughs> right? I see now. I see, man. I can't yeah. wait to get the name from, but go well, ahead. Well, look, <laughs> for anybody who doesn't know, there was a time back in 2016 where academics used to, DJ academics, he used to talk about this guy all the time. His hit song was Water. Uh, oh, I should know about this guy then. Guys, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. His, song, his hit song was Water. It came right. out in 2016. It is sly. You could go listen to that. Um, it was it, it peaked at number 80 on Billboard out of the uh, Billboard 100. And this is just another one of those rapper murder stories. You know, you we know about YNW Melly. We just did a story on Sir Tanky. Mm -hmm. That's tied into the pop smoke thing. And Ugly God seems like he's trying to follow in YNW Melly's footsteps right now mm -hmm. with this. They're saying that he's. He's been accused of unaliving his best friend's father. Best friend's father. So that's why it's a very interesting story. I'm hoping it's not true. Let's get into a little bit of the local news story. They reported on it. Uh, here we go. Let's get into it. And then another behind bars after gunfire in Gulfport. It happened here on Deborah Drive off of Three oh, Rivers man. Road. That victim has been identified as 50 year old Ronaldo Della Valde. Noah Noble was at the scene and he brings us the latest. We have to put a stop to it because we're losing. Like we're losing our youth. We're just, we're losing. Another shooting, another life lost to gun violence. 50 year old Ronaldo Della Valde was killed in an Orange Grove shooting. He was shot multiple times behind the wheel of a Nissan, the blood-stained sedan crashing into a neighbor's car. Moments after the gunfire, an officer was on scene. Well, we were in the area pretty close, uh, and we were able to respond within minutes of the call. And I just wish we would have been here a little sooner. Another life also altered forever, the suspect, who police chief Adam Cooper says was detained immediately, brought to the station, and is cooperating with detectives. But the weight of the situation is felt even by those who stood by and watched the crime scene. It's heartbreaking because I, my heart goes out to the family. My heart goes out to the one that's deceased. My heart goes out to the one that's um, in custody. Her heart goes out when she said, don't put me on the camera. <laughs> Nobody won. You got to have done. <laughs> because us as black people are losing our youth. We're losing the battle. So it's just like we have to stop. We have to stand up as a community and actually put a stop to gun violence. A plea for change that this neighbor hopes might save a life. Yeah, ain't nothing going to get changed. You know, yeah, I mean, it would be nice, but mm -hmm. it's just another day in the hood. Let's not even act like, you know, ain't nothing going to change no time soon. Hopefully, this is all just a big mix-up. It looks really nasty. Uh, hard, hard, my heart goes out to the family of Ronaldo De La Valade, the father, son, brother, cousin that was murdered. You know, they're saying that ugly God is saying that this is self defense, but there is a family member that's speaking now. Her name's Tashia. She's been making TikToks and she got allegations that. This wasn't no self-defense. They're saying that he got lured back to the house. And she even shared a case report showing that the 26-year-old rapper is the one that she's fingering for this. She's saying that he's going to get off because his judge is an uncle. Or his uncle is a judge, apparently. Yeah, sorry about that. And, you know, she's thinking that that's going to keep him out of jail. I'm going to go to the TikToks here. You see that? Yeah, she she bringing receipts. She's showing the case report. That boy got mm -hmm. taken in. 
He got taken in. Yeah, they're saying that he's complying with officers, though. That's what they said on that news uh, brief that we watched. So. So this ain't his father. This is somebody else's father. It's his best friend's father. What Music the, career what? was dead, so I shot my best friend dad while he was driving away. He never saw it coming. What kind of clout can I get for that? Hashtag ugly guy. That's that's the picture that she's painting. You know? That's why nobody never heard of ugly guy. It makes sense now. <laughs> he was a one how, how does that make sense? He's a one hitter. They just said his music career was over. You talk, you bringing up a hit from 2016, seven years ago. Yeah, I wouldn't say that nobody's ever heard of him. No, I said nobody. Hear. Yeah, but I'm saying he's not. That's what you said. Yeah. No, nah, it's not that case. A lot of people know who he is. That's why the story's gaining traction. Complex <laughs> the story on a hip hop DX, you know, right. hot new hip hop. Everybody's talking about it. And that's why we're trying to keep the people up to speed on it. Right, right. You know? So, hey, what's your initial reaction? You Man, take if he did this, this <laughs> yeah, I mean, if he did this, it don't make no sense, you know? Like, you was a successful rap. I mean, you had a hit. You was top billboard, what, 80, you said? Yeah, he was 80 on the billboard. 80 on the billboard. Why is you trying to, you don't have to do this, bro. But I don't know still, what you're I mean, like. <laughs> What if we find out it was self defense? What if Buggy came back to the house on some bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe we maybe Buggy's been uh, known to be a yeah, shooter. Maybe, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't. I just I want to reserve judgment until some more details come out. It's ugly though. A man lost his life. For what we know <laughs> right now, ugly God is presumed innocent. It's not like he went on the run. He wasn't hiding. He complied with police. They went in, questioned him, and he he did his little one too. I'm sure we'll hear more details in the days to come. But for right now, I just don't know. It looks bad, and 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 just to you know see both sides of it. Tashia is a family member of Buggy, aka Ronaldo Ronaldo Delavade. So you know he, she gonna be biased. Mm hmm. You know, people, family going to ride with them wrong, right, indifferent, <laughs> you know. They they, they probably going to ride with their family. Maybe I should have took indifferent out of there. But I would expect her to be trying to stick up for her people. Not to say ugly God is innocent. I don't know either way. But I can't take her word for it. I'm going to wait to see what kind of, you know, evidence comes out of it. But uh, she said that. Ronaldo was lured back to the house because she said that the let me read here from what they were saying. They talked a little bit more about it in the hip hop DX article. You could read about it in its entirety. I recommend you do that. But I'm going to just kind of summarize because she said that the boy got lured back to the house. This is what she's saying. Hi, my name. She's speaking from. A third person perspective that's perspective that's from Buggy. Hi, my name is Ronaldo Buggy Della Val Della Valade. She captioned the first of the two tribute videos. I was 50 years old when I was murdered by my son's best friend, 629-2023, at the home I live at with his mother and my wife and two of our sons. There was an argument the night before that included his mom, Rhonda Reese, and Safino Safina. Dedo, my wife, might not be saying that correctly, whom stood by and was present at the whole shooting. And then she put some suspicious emoji, emojis. After that argument the night before, I removed all my clothes and was proceeding on with my life. I've been there before. When you get into it with somebody, especially a woman, and you just say, listen, let me remove myself from the situation. Let me get my clothes. I'm out for I... Never mind. Let me just get myself and get out of here. So I'm feeling her so far. I was lured back to the house the next day by telling me my 11 year old was being put out. I knew I was in danger going there, so I did not get out of the car at all. I felt the danger and tried to avoid it. I spoke to Royce, the ugly guy sitting in the front of the house in my car where his mother later walked out to throw 
gasoline on the situation. After I thought the conversation was over, I was leaving. I was pulling off in my car where he shot me four times in the face. I never seen it coming. So she's painting a very, very ugly picture. Here goes another TikTok that she had. Yeah, they so, don't ugly guy had, boy. So you think head. this gonna boost his career? You think this gonna put his uh yeah, he definitely gonna get some more streams, you know. I, I had to go, I had to stream that water just to do some research. You feel me? The song yeah. definitely sounds familiar after I um after I looked it up. Right, right. Yeah, but Tashia T Y Z L Y F E. That's her TikTok. If you want to go see her, uh I guess I guess uh kick dirt on ugly god's name. If you want to see the full, you know full full force of what she got to say go check her out they got a good write-up on it in hip-hop dx reading in its entirety but it looks bad it looks bad this is definitely going to be good for his streaming but if his, if his ass did this and it wasn't no self-defense i'll be i'll step out there and say i'll be safer with his ass off the streets i feel safer <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't need nobody out here putting four in nobody's dome over no petty bullshit I'm tired of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. we don't need right. people like this in the society. You could watch a whole lot of other podcasts where they act like that's normal. It's not such a big deal. They always gonna be on the side of the rapper. You ain't gonna get that from here, man. I'm gonna try to inject a little sanity into what we got going on right now. This is not cool. This is not ethical. This is not where you want to be at in life. No, you know, no. I hope this ain't true, but. The details is going to come to the light. There's about three things you can't hide for long. That's the sun, the moon, and the truth. So listen, if you like what you hear, go ahead and like and share. Get in the comment section. Let us know what you think. Could there be any, any truth to what Tashia is mm -hmm. saying? Um, get in the comment section. Let us know what you think. Because we got the best uh, community on all of YouTube right now with the comment section. Y'all got strong comments. And we... <sighs> Uh, really appreciate that. So until the next time, stay shrewd. Stay shrewd, man.